Okay, so inverse trig and regular trig domain and range. Mm -hmm. All right, so sine of what equals what? So what's the domain of sine? Um, Conceptually. It, wouldn't it be all real numbers? It's an angle, which sure, any angle could be a reasonable mm -hmm. entry, right? So sine of an angle gives me a y-coordinate. Mm -hmm. Okay, specifically, and then cosine of an angle gives me uh, an x-coordinate. Okay, and these things live anywhere from negative 1 to 1. Okay. Right? Tangent of an angle gives me a slope. Okay? Mm -hmm. The slopes can be anything. Right? I can have a huge positive slope. I can have a huge negative slope. Mm -hmm. I can have a slope of 0. Right? Yeah. But this angle, however, cannot be anything because this angle does not appreciate pi over 2 or negative pi over 2. Right. Okay. Um, so this angle is not pi over 2 plus k pi. Okay. I can't have 90 degrees and then I can't have any 180 degree addition to 180 degrees. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, these are all original functions, right? What are the domains and ranges of their inverse functions? Well, if you graph sine, it looks like this. Right? right? So what I have to do is I have to ignore everything outside of this box if I'm going to make it into an invertible function. Mm -hmm. Does this make sense? Um, oh, yeah. So if I go, let's, let me... What does it take for a function to not be invertible? Um, if, it, if a line goes through it um, more than once. A line? What type of line? Um, either horizontal or vertical. So to be a function requires that you pass the vertical line test. Right. Agreed? Yeah. Um, now... To be invertible. It has to pass the vertical and horizontal line right, test. Right, right. has to pass the horizontal line test, mm -hmm. essentially. The problem with sine, the problem that we've encountered, is that if I want to solve the equation sine of theta equals one half, right, then I go here to one half and I get more than one angle. Mm -hmm. Right? So to correct this, we restrict our attention to this portion okay. of the graph of sine. Mm -hmm. Okay, And then if we are going to graph its inverse, then I have, uh, whoops, so I have a line y equals x, right? And now if I want to graph sine inverse, then I'm going to reflect right. this thing through y equals x. And now I have in blue a skewed graph of sine inverse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay? And you can see, like, if I wanted to continue my graph, I would end up with this sort of thing, and I'm putting it in yellow so it doesn't show up, because um, once I continue this yellow portion, um, I now have a function that fails the vertical line test. Right. right. So only this portion 
is admissible mm -hmm. in, in terms of functions. Okay, so what do I do now for... Uh, so this picture is totally obliterating the notion of domain and range of sine. Um, if I know that sine... Whoops, probably need to use whack. Um, if I know that sine of x uh, on, we'll say, negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 has range negative 1 to 1. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can draw a picture of this in terms of the unit circle. And all this is saying is that as theta varies from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, the y-coordinates of sine go from negative 1 to 1. To one. Okay. Okay? Um, and when I say on, I mean domain. Mm -hmm. Right? Inverse functions trade domain and range. Right. Right? So that means sine inverse of x has domain, this thing. Right. Right? And range that. this thing. Mm -hmm. Okay? Same exact discussion would hold for cosine, except cosine is going to look at this part of the circle. Yeah. Because on this part of the circle, we're going to have, what, 0 to pi? Mm hmm And the x-coordinates will range from negative mm -hmm. 1 to 1, right? So this is the range of cosine, which is the domain Sorry. of cosine inverse. Cos okay? This is part of the domain of cosine. Uh, do you remember when, when they kept asking, like, which of these functions are invertible? Mm -hmm. And I was like, all of them. Mm -hmm. are invertible. You just have to change yeah. the domains and ranges. So now we're in to a different part of the book and they're teaching you about inverses of functions that previously you would have been marked wrong mm -hmm. if you said that they were invertible. Yeah. Um, but now they, they say they are invertible. Um, okay. So we didn't talk about arctangent. So we got to say tangent What's the domain and what's the range? Mm -hmm. um, it, it can be any angle except for uh, root two, uh, pi over 2. Right, so in the picture, we want the angles to be... I'm going to draw an open circle. Let's say we want these to be the angles mm -hmm. for tangent. Right? So, we're going to say negative pi over 2 smaller than theta smaller than pi over 2. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm only looking at these angles is because that's enough to get super positive slopes, super negative slopes, and everything in between. Yeah. Okay? So, um tangent of an angle gives us a slope, and the slope can be anything. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Okay, so if I want to doctor my, you know, my new domain is uh, negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, Right, mm -hmm. and my range is all real numbers. Mm -hmm. That's for tangent. tangent. Okay, arc tangent just trades these. Okay. Okay, so arc tangent has. Um, I'll use a different color. Uh, domain of all real numbers. Of all real numbers, and it has range of negative pi over two to pi right. over two. So, arctangent 
of a slope gives an angle. Okay. Okay. Now, this is really important mentally. When I say this, I'll tell you what I mean. <laughs> um, this being like uh, inverse sine mm -hmm. takes a y coordinate and outputs an angle. And inverse cosine takes an x coordinate and, puts out an and now angle. puts an angle. Okay. Um, this way, you know, if, I, if I'm doing sine inverse of pi over 4, mm -hmm. they could be sort of rude and tricky with this. Uh-huh. Right? Pi over 4 looks like an angle. Right? I mean, right. like, by all, you know, any reasonable person would call that an angle. But actually, because we're looking at sine inverse, uh, we're treating this pi over 4 as a y-coordinate. Oh, okay. Which is like close to one. Okay. Right? So this would be rude of them if they did this. Mm -hmm. Right? But it's it's really whatever this angle is. Where this point is pi over four is, you know, three point mm -hmm. point eight or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Um Okay, uh, and like we just did before, inverse tangent of a slope is an angle. Mm -hmm.